Hello, Nag here. It's a quick video before I fly off to sunny New Zealand, or at least much more sunny than the Netherlands, New Zealand. Uh, just a quick, quick video, bit of an overview of what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, if you're gonna be in uh, at Exalcon or whatever, in, somewhere in like the next two weeks, uh, if you wanna meet up, grab a drink, whatever, um, just do so. If you're at Exalcon and you see me, feel free to say hi. I uh, tend to be maybe a little bit on the shy side uh, in, in, in groups of people that I don't really know. So uh, do feel free to just say hello. I really would not mind. Okay, so I'm gonna leave for the airport in about an hour. Um, fly later this afternoon. And then <coughs> on <coughs> Tuesday morning, New Zealand time, I'll be in Auckland. I've got a nice layover in Shanghai. I've got about three hours to find my next flight there. So that's sometimes 11 hours flights with three and a half hours or so of, of transfer in between. So that should be good. I do hope I catch some sleep on the second flight because I'll be arriving at like seven or so in the morning in Auckland. So if I had a nice night of sleep on the second flight, then I actually get to do something useful with that Tuesday. So there was like a airport here. So then I'll take the sky bus to downtown Auckland for the first two days. I've got a hotel somewhere here. It, it's the city center. Oh, if you look at the scale, it's like you know, 500 meters. So city centers is like one and a half or two kilometers across. It's a walking distance. So that that's really nice. So I've got a hotel here for the first two days. Uh, I don't know if I'll have jet lag uh, or how bad it's going to be. So I just figured take a hotel I have the possibility to just crash there for a day or two if i need to be and then afterwards emerge hopefully as a, a somewhat functioning human being um but with a bit, bit of luck i well, catch some sleep on the plane and then i've got the tuesday the wednesday and the thursday uh to just you no know, do all kinds of fun touristy stuff in the area then on Friday, I think it was Friday. No, on Thursday, I'll transfer to a apartment that's basically somewhere around Altera Square. The Altera Center here uh, is where the conference will be. Looks really fancy, and also on the satellite view, it, it does look recognizable. It's like the, the central square, so it looks like down, down, downtown Auckland is actually not too big a city center. Um, so you no, know, things are should generally be just uh, easy to reach, easy to move, easy to find. Um, so for during the conference, I'll, I'll stay in the apartment here. Um, so I can just crawl back to the Altera center if need be. So then on, on Friday, there's bench pickup for the, for the conference. Then there's a, a dinner, uh, the, the VIP dinner at Wildfire, which is over here. So Again, this is not just walking distance. It's it's all walking distance. It's like one and a half kilometers. That's like 15 minutes walk. Should be nice. Um, there's already a, the the devs in a recent news post. They had like an update for uh, Exacon with like the schedules, and also they linked to a Discord channel that a lot of people who are either already in uh, Auckland or who are flying to its. Uh, <laughs> relatively soon, though, just like me, who are gathering there. So that's going to be like the Exocom communications channel for, for uh, while you're there. So if you're heading there and you hadn't seen it yet, might be helpful to uh, to join up there because then at least uh, you have some other folks to uh, say hi to. I mean, I'll be uh, flying there solo cell found, so to say, all by myself. Um, so I'll probably, you know, if, if there's people that uh, want to meet up for drinks or food or whatever, it's always more fun to share food with, with other people, right? But it's going to be an interesting uh, experience just uh, going on vacation effectively by myself. I think it's going to be a, an interesting uh, learning and growing experience. Um, so what to do in Auckland? There's a lot of interesting things to do in Auckland, but also in the, uh, the nearby area. For, for a while, I was actually dubbing, uh, do I want to see everything of New Zealand in, in one trip? Or 
or if I'm just gonna focus on one area and then well, maybe go back to in the future for uh, another trip. Um, and I figured, especially you know, if you also take in Southern Islands, then you're just gonna be running around, around like crazy trying to see everything and never really enjoying anything, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna focus on the Auckland area for the first week of my stay and then for the second week gonna be uh, heading over to Rotorua for a couple of days I think and then back to Auckland to uh, do see some more things and then be close to the airport so I can just uh, fly back there um, and that's a bunch of interesting looking things here there's the no the, the the typical things of course that that all cities tend to have they've got like a, a zoo and there was like a sea life thing figured no in on the other side of the world they probably got uh, different animals and different fish so that might be interesting um it's like mount eden it's like a seems like a walking hiking thing that's almost nearly in the city so that's going to be fun um, on the other side, I think there's like small boats that you can take to the other side to Devonport, which is supposed to be uh, nice to go and see and walk. And over here, you can see uh, Rangito and Motu Tapu um, Island. Apparently, this is very nice for hiking, or at least parts of it. Uh, I mean, on, on the map, it Still trying to figure out if this is all forest or if this is basically all just underwater, since I'm pretty sure that this is water. Satellite maps, they can be a bit interesting slash trippy sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's a, as I said, I, I haven't really made any concrete plans since I'm not quite sure how much time will be lost due to a possible jet lag or if I will be able to just use all the time effectively. Um, but yeah, that's going to be for the uh, the Auckland area Con conference. Of course, is going to be in the uh, in the weekend. Uh, Friday before we got the the food. The Monday after is the the ultra VIP dinner barbecue thing at Jonathan's house, which is also somewhere in the uh, in the Auckland area. Um, and then the Tuesday afterwards, I'll be checking out of my apartment, and from my current idea and i still have finalized it my current idea is to then head over to take a bus to rotorua down here which apparently this is the uh, like the the mori cultural capital of new zealand so there's this a lot of interesting mori stuff to to see uh, like shows museums things like that so i'm very keen on, on seeing more of that um, there's well, there's a big lake here. There's there's nature here, so that all looks interesting. Just from a, no, just seeing some something different besides just houses for uh, for a while. Um, they got this thing here, the wild tapu. And see, this is all natural apparently. Um, it's like hot springs, um, geysers, things like that. And there's also just a. Um, like a redwood forest and, and like a, a nature trail that you can walk. So apparently this is this is definitely a site worth seeing if you're in the in the area. I think it's also maybe something that that helped inspire certain uh, sulfuric inspired maps in Path of Exile. It definitely has the the color palette. But another reason for why I wanted to to go here besides the uh, the cultural stuff, and that is because Rotorua is relatively close to Matamata, Mata, especially if you compare it to Auckland. I mean, Matamata Mata is about, if you take the distance, it's like one third of the distance from Rotorua and two thirds of the distance from Auckland. But also, over here you got uh, Waitomo, which is also relatively close to Rotorua compared to Auckland just eyeballing it but i think it's again the same ratios matamata is where the hobbit set is the lord of the rings hobbit hobbit and set thing oh, come on google maps don't betray me it's supposed to be there see slightly south of matamata and then the white tomo has the the glowworm caves which are also apparently a, a site that you definitely want to see if you're in the area or so i've come to understand from all the uh, touristy things 
So I was just contemplating options. From Auckland, there are bus tours that leave at ridiculously early in the morning. Then you, they bring you with a bus to Watomo, see the glowworms, then go over to Madamara or to the, to the Hobbits, do the Hobbit tour, and then you go back and then you arrive at like 10 in the evening. So you get a really long, long, intense day with a lot of travel. Um, and then you do see it. So if you're only there for a couple of days, it seems like a very efficient way to use your time. I figured since I'm going to be there for a little bit longer and Rotorua has multiple interesting things as well as just some nature, I figured oh, let, let's go there, stay there for a couple of days and then just do the do the, the Hobbits and Waitomo uh, Cave from Rotorua. So there's going to be less bus travel time involved uh, and actually more time uh, that I've got for here. And then. Uh, Close to when I'm flying, uh, I'll be heading back to Auckland to spend the final weekend in Auckland. Um, apparently, the winter, uh, the, the the Christmas season is uh, starting, and they got like a, a parade or something through town on either the Saturday or the Sunday um, after uh, Exocon. So if you're going to be in town um, that long still, that might be interesting to to have a look at. Especially since now Auckland is gearing up for their summer. Um, I'm very much used to Christmas being a winter thing. For them, it's, it's a summer thing. So I'm very much interested to see just how big of a culture clash that's going to be. It's, uh... yeah. So yeah, it's just a very, very quick video. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've been for the past week, I've been just, I, I, on average, I had like 30 tabs open in my browser with all kinds of touristy things to do, all kinds of trip options, hotel options, just trying to you know, try and squeeze as much fun stuff into the, the trip as possible. And then in the end, I was like, no, I'll just leave the second week blank. Just as a space of possibilities that I will eventually fill up, but not for now. So if you're gonna be in the area, do feel free to uh, shout out at either my Discord or in the, uh, the community Discord or on the, the channel here. Um, I, I, I did bring a uh, Wi-Fi router so I can just stick a, a local SIM card in there and just just you know, spend like uh, $100 on like 10 gigs of, of data, which is much cheaper than actually roaming on my uh, Dutch uh, internet connection there. The, the, the international roaming outside of Europe is insanely crazy expensive. So definitely if you're here and haven't thought of the option, look into just getting a, a, a local SIM card and, and like a like a, a small portable Wi-Fi thing. It's probably gonna save you a lot of money in uh, roaming charges. So if there's anything that I overlooked that I didn't mention in terms of interesting touristy stuff, also do feel free to shout out and share. Um, uh, I'll probably, but, but the folks at uh, Exocon will probably just be swapping ideas as well, but hey, more inspiration is always welcome. And with that, I'm gonna get ready for my flight. So thank you very much for watching. Maybe see you in New Zealand and otherwise I'll see you again some other time on this channel. Bye bye.